Hello, this is Alan Provo for Galvanic Applied Sciences. Today I'm going to show you how to replace piston pump seals. This is a Sentinel piston pump, and I'm going to show you how to remove the top of this. Okay, there are two screws right here. Yeah. That was easy to get done. I have still one of the parts on a demo. Removing the head of the pump. Two screws come out, this plastic piece comes off. Uh, I'm gonna orient the head in a way where the uh, the L piece right here is perpendicular to um, the where the uh, the tubes would be oriented on the, the top of this head. I'm gonna pull it out maybe a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna use a, uh, a twisting motion, sort of a hook twisting motion to get it out. There is a socket joint in there. A sort of a, a ball socket joint. It's very difficult to get the the uh, L piece of this shaft in there, but uh, with some practice, uh, it's uh, you can accomplish that. Now, first thing I do is to remove the grease from this this L piece here. It's uh, marine grease. Any any grease will do just as long as uh, there's something there to prevent it from rusting, rusting onto the, the metal ball socket here. The next thing we do, grab some pliers, uh, channel lock pliers, and this unscrews counterclockwise. This piece here. Pull that out, and this looks actually fairly dirty. Um, if you're just pulling this off and you haven't uh, flushed the pump free of reagent, you might find some leftover reagent in here, and uh, you should be wearing gloves. Uh, you should actually be wearing gloves right now. Anyway, I'm going to pick up a piece that doesn't have reagent on it to show you what it looks like. This is actually without seals on it. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the seals on it real quick with this piece oh. here. The, see the seals are, are set like this. Kind of looks like a, a hi-hat that, that a drummer would have. Okay, so... Now, what you don't want to do is just jam these pieces, these these seals, onto the shaft because what will happen is the uh, inner diameter uh, will, um, will sort of get shoved underneath. I don't know if you can see that. You see how that, that lip, that inner diameter lip is, is uh, uneven? Well, this is what you have to do. Grab a new set of seals that comes with your maintenance kit, the Rulon seals, and grab yourself a PaperMate Flex Grip Ultra pen, or any similar pen that has a, uh, a similar tip on it, something that will fit the inner diameter of your seal. Take your seal, insert the tip of the pen, and just gently pull and twist. Turn the seal and gently pull, twist the pen. And you're reaming out the inner diameter of the seal at this point. 
just enough to be able to slip it over this this uh, key point on the shaft right there. If you just shove it over here very uh, harshly, you're going to rip the inner diameter of this seal. And with some twisting motion, you can get it over the top of the shaft and still keep that that lip oriented towards the uh, the back half of the shaft. Okay, so let's take a look. The lip is pointed this way towards the back half of the shaft, as I was saying. Um, if you had the ability to take a magnifying glass and look at this and make sure that there's no rips or tears on the inner portion of this lip, that would be uh, beneficial to you. Okay. And I'm going to take another seal. Gonna ream this out as well. And this is gonna be a little easier because the uh the flare portion of this seal is going to be in this direction, going to be pointing up. A little bit easier to push over the top of the shaft. And a lot easier to uh, slide over this this indent, indent, indentation. Okay, so there, it looks a little messy, but if we shove it down, Pull up this collar piece a little bit, and it will flatten out, and it should look just like that hi-hat piece. And insert the head all the way down. Tighten that finger tight, grab your channel locks, and give it probably uh, an eighth of a turn in order to uh, get it tight. And that's it. Uh, and then, oh, actually, the next thing is to pull this out about a qu three quarters of an inch, measuring from uh, the inner part of this L shaft to the top of the, the collar here, the locking collar, and then uh, reinsert into your pump. And that's it.